Hi, thanks for joining me. My name's Tibor. We're on episode 13 of the XCOM 2 playthrough. Um, <coughs> Welcome, Commander. Sticky spot. Um, no engineers, no sharpshooters. Uh, well, sorry, there's sharpshooter available. But uh, that's kind of it. Um, it says recruits cost 10 supplies. I need to install radio stations. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go burning convoy. New course. This is a long, long uh, seven days. We'll see what crops up. Damn. Okay, so we kicked two off and they've just picked up one more. Commander, if we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project, we should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. <laughs> Hold on, I've just lost, I've just done one and I've lost like fucking four guys. Bye. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. The aliens make a strong statement by fielding these massive creatures as their frontline combat units. I doubt they thought anyone would resist when faced with the alternative of staring down a muton. Okay, so I haven't seen having never seen any of the previous mutant variants personally, only by the stories of her Central Officer Bradford and the others, as they say, the current breed is apparently on the smaller side. Although considerably more agile than the originals. Internally, the subject maintains all the hallmarks of extensive genetic modification with additional musculature, bone protecting the internal organs from any risk of direct contact. Nanny has really spent a great deal of time and effort honing the abilities of Muton as a frontline combat soldier. I had heard that our soldiers believed mutants to be part of a tribe of society, at least originally, based on their unusual battle cries and markings seen in the field. And we've finally got a closer look and I can confirm the presence of unusual scarification that could certainly be attributed to ritualistic behaviour. So we have an advanced grenade launcher and a plasma grenade available. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I don't really want to use any more Illyrium up because I'm short and as it as it is. So let's do. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Okay. I'm pleased with the research advances we've made so far, but there's still so much more to learn about the aliens' motivations. All right, let's see if we can get the proving ground to do something useful for us. Everything wants to use Illyrium. Get started right away, Commander. I'll send word when the project is complete. Hey, Commander. And we're short on alien alloys still. We've got a mission for those, though, so that's okay. And what are we going here? This might very well be worth a purchase. Because we're getting in that department. I do need a mine shield. Oh, give me two mine shields, there we go. Back Having to command. Never foot in one of the city centers, I've never actually had one of these advent burgers I keep hearing rumors about. No one really seems to be asking the hard questions either. Like, when was the last time you even saw a cow? All 
right, let's get back onto it. I honestly thought commands would have brought us back here, but never mind. Resistance has relayed information to an advanced supply line. We should disrupt it. Operation Moon Valley. Raid the advent convoy. Okay. Setting course for India. Well, everybody's going to be a rookie, aren't they, here, pretty much? Mm -hmm. Right, oddly enough, I do want you to have that. Let's check the loadout. It's in the spider suit. <coughs> hmm. Alright, she's pretty good, I think. Lay off the mine shield with her for now. Quite a high will. Your will is absolutely pathetic. I'll leave you as is. Your will is zero. Shaken. Uh. Okay. I'm not exactly going to be uh, living up to my previous sniper, are you? Uh, are you sure you're not an alien? Soldier, really? Actually, you know what I do need, which I can't make because I can't got any more supplies. Okay, let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. In position for deployment. What we can gather, resistance forces disabled an advent transport near here, and they've left the gear for us to seize. We expect the aliens are going to move to recover the transport, but it's worth the risk to investigate. We'll need to secure the site, eliminate any hostile resistance, and recover the item. Menace 1-5. The disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Right, where is the convoy? Alright, we're at one end, we just have to sweep all the way to the other. Fair enough. Moving to position. Moving out. Hello there, guys. Location confirmed. Moving to designated coordinates. Hmm. You're going to be a difficult one, aren't you? Let's put you over here. And I want to end my turn, I think. I don't want to shoot anybody. Awkward. Heading out. Confirmed. Rolling.
Time to motor. the equipment we're after. We'll have to do our best to avoid destroying the gear while we secure the area. Well, that's a good thing. I didn't love a grenade on something down there then, wasn't it? on these guys so Overwatch. you better do a good job good copy moving on target moving to Overwatch. all right here we go um a nice cluster but unfortunately i'm not going to get a grenade down there Oh, how did you miss? Adjusting sight. They found it. You still know it. Okay. Gonna do you. Yep. Two percent. You've got a flanking shot. You can't do anything. Right, let's do this. Moving. have to be kidding me. Enemy still up. You just just you uh, I have no words really, that is just ridiculous. Oh, come on! I know that was a 44%, but there's no way that should have been that low. Well, you can't do anything, can you?
Okay, let's try it. Twenty-two percent chance. I suppose something had to go right. Good riddance. Looks like something over here. Object secure. Seventy four percent chance. Might as well increase that a little bit, I suppose. Closing on target position now. Nailed him. Weapons burn and ammo fast. Headed there now. Well, that was ridiculous. You are in such a bad way right now. Heading out. Holding position. Roger that. Oh, of course it's a robot. And it's... what is that? Our resistance contacts had heard rumors Advent might be rolling out a heavy infantry armor system. Looks pretty tough. But you could have told me beforehand. I'm hit! I'm hit. <laughs> oh, be sick. Help! Help! Someone help! Oh, come on. Right, this is gonna be a story of grenades then I think. Moving to designated position. Catch. That's a little bit harsh. You got to climb down. That's probably because I destroyed most of the, yeah, most of the things been <laughs> slaughtered. Um, Hard target, minimal damage. Percentages aren't good, are they? Let's put you in Overwatch then. I need to do something about you. Best option is actually going to unfortunately be to cluster everybody together in one place. I'm on the move. I'm just going to make it so easy for that robot to just completely destroy us next turn. Take this. Incredible. Target still up. Yeah, we're not bad. We are not This is bad. They're on the move. Hostiles coming in from the sides. Oh, 
What? Oh, you're joking. At least that paid off. It did actually work. <laughs> oh, gonna be sick. <sighs> we have forty nine percent chance to hit something that's standing out in the open. Try this, this will hopefully take this out. Oh, I don't believe it. I'm having the worst luck. Try this. This probably won't work. No, didn't think it would. Incredible. On my way. Incredible. Fifty four per cent. This guy's just gonna mop up. I need medical attention now. Getting a little toasty here. Come no. on, wait. I think I need some help. one. percent chance to hit. Go on then. Hostile target down. Training ammo fast. And <laughs> we've Back still online. got more to go. This is not going to end well. It's just gonna end up being just gonna end up dying. Roger that. Moving to position. I've got eyes I on the see position. something. We are so dead. Understood. Moving out. Got it 
<laughs> oh, bye bye. They got me. Negative damage. Let's see him gone. You're going to be able to do absolutely nothing. You're going to die. I might as well at least try and shoot him. It's down. to take losses like this. The objective isn't worth the lives of our remaining troops. I'd recommend we abort while we still can. It's too late for that. We are just going to die. Closing on target position now. That's it. Burning through ammo fast. Mists and then he'll do his poison attack. Which is game over. The shimmy doesn't shoot me first. That's it. Avengers, all XCOM operatives are dead or MIA. I'm returning. Well, I don't really have anything to say. Two bad missions, one after the other, and I think that's probably going to be the end of my game. Um, there seems to be a very formulaic particular we way that you have to do research. To We're getting and thin on I didn't do commander. that. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah. Yep, I've got no supplies, no recruits. The recruits I've got, 16 days and 7, so I've got two rookies left to defend my uh, ship. Um, so this is it. This is pretty much game over, I think. And um, I'll be honest. I haven't exactly um, enjoyed it, really. The, the constant pushing you to um, setting course for sector 14, East Asia. Putting timers and clocks. So the Avatar project here, having a time here, that's fine. But then having the timers and clocks all the time Welcome, Commander. in mission. See that? I can't afford anybody. Um, I've got no more recruit opportunities available. I've lost 
New India. Um, that's it. That's game over. Oh well. It's what it is what it is, I suppose. Um, I say, yeah. It's it seems to be very much a very specific um, set of research that you've got to do. Otherwise, you just get completely screwed by the aliens. So I'm just still going out there with um, just regular uh, guns, uh, even though I've got a small amount of the um, mag weapons. But they've the got the advent propaganda machine is running oh, full up. steam. We're picking up their transmissions even way out in the middle of nowhere. So the aliens have got the um, heavy armor advent now, which are pretty heavily armored. When you're looking at them, they had, I think it was two armor or one armor, I think. Um, I'm going up against mutons, the vipers, and the mechs. And um, this is nothing to do. Um, the the troops are too too under under skilled. <clears throat> I mean, I had to drop on the aliens there. I had uh, a very good ground. I had them actually surrounded, um, effectively in flanked, and um, they just tore me to pieces. And that was the first fight. And I had five guys against their three. There was nothing I could do. Um, so without the experienced um, soldiers, I am utterly screwed at this point. So I'm, I'm not even going to bother continuing. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know if I'll do another series on this. Um, as I say I haven't really enjoyed it because of the the, the time clocks they put on there. Um, there's very much a, a very particular way you've got to play this from the very beginning, and I didn't play it the right way quite clearly. Um, so not the game's fault, my fault, or no, maybe it is the game's fault. Maybe the you know, it's been it's been assembled in the way that it is, um, and I don't particularly like the fact that you have to do things like that, um, buying those specific items or specific pieces of equipment that you need to do at the very beginning. It's no different from XCOM 2, where you had to just keep on working. Uh, sorry, no, XCOM 2, XCOM, where you had to keep working on the satellites so that you could keep your um, different regions under control, and it's just a, more or less the same thing. Um, Research is proceeding as planned. Uh, shut up. So I'm thinking from looking at here. I mean, I got a fair amount of research done, but it's got to be armor, um, modular weapons, magnetic weapons, and before I even start looking at anything else. And um, now I know that the um, officers grabbing the officers actually causes that um, uh, thing to appear and that mission grabbing the vial is basically going to reinforce the enemy because that was a that was one thing that just went wrong I right at the end admire the courage and so that's it it's gone game over thanks for watching um, very very short series so I don't know if I'm going to play another series because I've just not um, really got into this game as much as I love the XCOM games and some of the variants that I've played um, I, I'm just not feeling it with this one anyway thanks for watching and uh, I obviously I won't see you next time bye bye for now